Hey guys, welcome back to the card review. So today we are looking at an interesting card. An interesting card that, you know, may be uh, a correction or a fix on some previously old card. But uh, just for this particular archetype, so this is Performer Pow Cast Change. So it is a normal spell card that reads, Shuffle any number of Performer Pow monsters in your hand to the deck, then draw that same number of cards plus one. You can only activate one performer power cast change once per turn, which is good. <laughs> but I like that. I like that. That plus one is huge. So of course, we know we have cards in this game where you take your hand and you you know, you shuffle it back and you draw the same amount that you shuffled back, right? You know, of course being uh reload and uh magical mallet. Now, the problem with those cards is that they're actually a neg one. Cause Let's say you have five cards in hand, you play Reload or Magical Mallet, you take the four, you shuffle them back, and you draw four. Because that must, the card that you activated doesn't count because it's not in your hand when you activate it, so you don't get to shuffle that back in. That'd be dumb if you can just go ahead and be like, all right, well, I'm going to reload it and put it back, shuffle, and draw my hand. Oh, no, they're, do it again, you know, do it again, do it again. Because, of course, you know, Reload or Magical Mallet are not once per turn, so you can just keep doing that, especially if you're not nagging with resources. But that's the thing with them. You you inherently neg. By playing that card and shuffling, you know, either Magical Mallet and selecting the number you want or reload and just taking your whole hand and shuffling it back and drawing the same amount, the thing is, you're negging. You are negging. With this card, it fixes the fact that you neg when you do cards like Magical Mallet and Reload by giving you that plus one to give you that even out. So let's say I have, you know, my hand of five and I have three Performer Pals and my monsters in my hand. I play this card, I take those three Performer Pal monsters, shuffle them back, draw three, and then draw one more card. So I'm back at five. So, and that's really good. That's really good. Uh, of course, they wanted to go ahead and make it that you can only activate one cash change per turn. So you can't just go, all right, cash change, shuffle back, draw, all right, cash change, shuffle back, draw, all right, cash change, shuffle back, draw. You know, they want you to do that. So it's only once per turn, but it is still. A, a really good thing and a really great ability to go ahead and be able uh, to do that, you know, to, to go ahead and show your performer pal. So if performer pals ever become a thing, ever become a relevant deck, you most definitely should play three of this because, you know, why not, you know? Take your performer pals that you don't want, shuffle them back, draw, and then draw an additional card, you know? It, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. This card is really great and you know I hope that if they continue to do you know archetype specific cards and they decide to go ahead and do another card like this for another archetype Go ahead and throw on that plus one on you because it actually makes the card playable. You don't neg. You even out. You, it's a zero You know the card is not busted. It's not broken, but it's actually not bad either. It's a good card It's simple. It's a fine card and I'm glad that uh, performer pals, you know are getting something like this and hopefully it's uh, you know uh, innovative to the future of, you know, future archetypes, and, uh, maybe we'll get to go ahead and see them do something, because you, yeah, this is a pretty good card for you, yeah. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.